I'm starving. You guys want to get something to eat? This week we sit down with Vinny Brand, a veteran stand-up comic and owner of the famous Stress Factory Comedy Club in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Not only does Vinny have an insane story of perseverance behind his success, but we came to realize that stand-up comedy and big business actually have a lot in common. In my business, when I was the CEO of the company, they called me the closer, right? Because what they would do is they would they'd say, look, we got to close this deal. They'd just fly me in. And I could step off that plane. I could be doing something completely different. I walk in that door and I'm like, boom, it's on. And I could get in there and it was on. Right. It's the same thing, right? Same thing. For me, it's the same thing. Uh, to me, it's, it's the, all of life is an ongoing conversation. Yeah. So my time on stage is a conversation. If I was in that boardroom, it's a conversation. Yeah. And, and it's fun. I, I love love selling new material. Yeah. Because that's what I'm doing nonstop. Yeah. Right? And so I'm gonna take a whole room full of people and I'm gonna tell them, here's what we're talking about. Here's my perspective and you're gonna laugh. Yeah. Truth be told, I met Vinny for the first time as a patron of the Stress Factory and it didn't exactly go according to plan. I came here with my wife. <laughs> we went out to dinner and I had white pants on. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. I had white <laughs> pants. And you come out and you're like, <laughs> look at this white <laughs> pants and I'm like, man, and I was sitting like right there. That was, there was a conscious decision at up front because I looked like, no, no it wasn't. No, okay. it's just dumb luck. It's dumb luck and it's dumb to wear white pants. It's a double, <laughs> <laughs> no man wears white pants. What are you, a Commodore? You're out there sailing around the world? <laughs> but long before Vinny was making fun of me from the stage of his own comedy club, he overcame an epic array of challenges while working multiple jobs to support a young family in his early 20s. So I'm like, okay, now I'm running a construction company and a flower shop. And that stressful environment, it's a lot of work. And at that time, this is now we're going maybe 87, 88, and the comedy boom is on. And I decide I wanna go and do an open mic. So I went to Rascals in Eatontown, I did an open mic, and my very first night on stage, I didn't prepare at all, and I'm telling you, Mike, I killed. And I decided, you know what? I wanna go on more. I, I talked to the owner of a building in New Brunswick. He has a, a restaurant and a basement. The basement's a nightclub, and the restaurant's upstairs. Yep. I said, I'm gonna use that building on Sundays. I'll do open mic, because you're, you're dark. And he let me do it. I got all the open micers together that we were doing at Rascals. I said, come here on Sunday, we'll do it. Rascals find out I'm doing it and blackballs me. But they also call Catch a Rising Star and Caroline, yep. and I'm not welcome anywhere. Once they threw that down, now I'm in the flower shop. I got the construction company. I said, I'm gonna open a full-time club. You think I'm gonna be competition? I'll be competition. Right. Now my wife at the time wants a divorce. I have the construction company, which I'm about to wind down, the flower shop, which I'm running because she doesn't want to anymore, and I'm doing stand-up, and I'm opening this club. I have three desk phones, so I'm answering phones. Alien dude, peanut garden florist, could you please hold? Hang up. Four Seasons Construction, could you please hold? Hi, Laughing Stock Comedy Club. Now while I'm doing this, I got three notebooks. I'm, I'm like a maniac, right? right. Coffee up, I got three kids, and the phone goes quiet, and I, and I said to myself, this is not a laughing stock. This is a stress factory. And things didn't get easier from there. Remember, there's no such thing as an overnight success. Vinny was reaching for his dream, but reality was still holding him down. Because now I've sold the flower shop, I'm divorced, and it's just comedy. Yep. I'm now living in a boarding house. I have no car. My ex-wife has taken the car, the house. I have nothing. I'm trying to take care of three children, and I'm trying to build a club. I'm still blackballed everywhere. I can't work as a comic. I've gotten rid of the flower shop, gotten rid of the construction company. This is it. Now we're open. But... I'm single, mm -hmm. I'm divorced. I'm still living in a boarding house. Uh, I, I had sworn off women, but a girl came in to get a job, and we're a pretty girl, a beautiful girl, and I hire her. And right away, I like this girl. Yep. And I said to myself, if this girl's gonna date me, I gotta get the rest of my shit together. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started taking the business seriously, and she became a manager, and now we're dating for real. And the business starts to take off. 
and then about a year and a half later we're dating and she says I need to know if we keep dating would you get married and have kids I remember looking at her thinking well no but <laughs> For you, I would. Oh, is that right? And so I said, yes, and that's my wife now. Okay. But she was the, the crystallizing. I had gone through all of this, and then I found somebody that would work as hard as me and, and be as intense as me and who doesn't care. Uh, if I want to open another club, she wants it as much or more, and she'll work just as hard. Today, the Stress Factory is one of the premier comedy clubs on the East Coast. And Vinny has opened up a new venue in Bridgeport, Connecticut this fall. But he'll never forget the obstacles he faced to get there. What do you identify yourself as? A comic? An entrepreneur? A business owner? All of the above? Or what, what are you? I'm an engaged human being. An engaged human being. People ask me all the time, uh, are you a florist? Are you a construction worker? Are you a comic? Are you a father? Are you a husband? Mm -hmm. I have a farm at my house. And when I'm picking up eggs, I'm a farmer. And when I walk on stage, I'm a comic. And when I come in here and do business, I'm a business owner. So I tell people, I'm an engaged human being. And I want to always be engaged. Yeah. Um, I did a lot of hard things. And uh, if you don't have that desire to get through obstacles and you live today, you're in trouble. I, I, broke, I have this finger damaged, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people, would let this injury stop them. But I'm gonna pick my nose with this finger. <laughs> That's just a joke. That's just a joke. <laughs>